Well guys, no race car update today. As you can tell, we are working on three wheelers. Bought this one here down south in uh, Michigan and really nice uh, obviously the plastics and stuff are off it's really nice other than that everything the dude touched is just a nightmare like everything that he did I'm undoing and then this one I kind of bought for parts both of them run that one has like a insane vacuum leak where it just revs to the moon this one uh, the carb was leaking a little bit but um, basically putting all the nice parts on that one for my girlfriend uh, for like a pit vehicle that we can throw on the trailer and then this one I eventually want to build into a like a two-wheeler mini bike there's a dude on uh, on YouTube that does that and it's something I want to do long term um, for now I'm probably just gonna throw uh, these tires the junk tires on this one and I'll use it to beat around the yard if I need to but uh, as you can tell we're painting some stuff we're changing some stuff the recoil was busted to fix that already the uh, foot pegs on this one were atrocious you can see them laying there so I gave her the ones off of mine and I'm gonna put the junk ones back on mine and then the carb you can tell sitting down there I think it has a gasket missing because it just has like uh, it just revs to the moon also, he had, what else did he have? Oh, spill all over myself. There's meant to be two lines. You can see that one's broke off. And then in the tank, he just capped it. And I think that's a vacuum line as well. So no air duct here. I'll have to find one of them. This thing's I don't think this is meant to be just everything that the dude touched was just not like well, don't don't touch it if you can't do it correctly kind of thing so we're trying to undo everything he did and make this one kind of cherry for my girlfriend obviously I can, like I was saying the tires on on mine were better so I'm putting the tires on this one and just one piece at a time painting them uh, trying to make it look nice and then hopefully I can get, uh, I bought an eBay carb for one of these. Hopefully I can slap that on there and then it works good. If not, then I'll have to rebuild that one and tune it and all that stuff. So I think we're on like the third day of unrigging this uh, three-wheeler. This one's my girlfriend's. I think I mentioned that this one's mine. Uh, so I'm basically sacrificing all the good parts or the better parts from mine to give to her and one of that being the tires obviously these tires are changed these ones are still baloney skins um, I just want to make sure this thing runs and drives good before I put all the parts on this because if not then I can change basically all the nice parts to this thing because I know this does run and drive uh, this one's just in uh, better shape in my opinion but uh, we are getting ready to put the shifter on. The dude shifter out and then just run it like that and it ruined some of the splines. These are just cheap eBay replacements for uh, these, which is what a lot of the stuff I'm putting on. I just want rider quality stuff. I don't really need OEM, uh, like all original parts. This one is a Chinese car. I think it was like 28 bucks on eBay. Fuel lines are fixed. Like I said before, the dude had one broken off. Um, and also, when I went to go take the carb off, there's supposed to be an O-ring here. There's a receiver groove for it. There was no O-ring, so I assume that was part of why it was revving up and had a vacuum leak. These little engines, I don't even know if, if they are like uh, have you consider it vacuum because normally a single cylinder doesn't have vacuum but either way it would not start without um, carb clean or revving it up and then once it did start it it was like 3000 rpm which I've started it now it's still got the exhaust off 
I ended up breaking a stud on both of these engines, just one on each. Uh, so I got to extract that stud on this one. And then this header pipe, which it's not meant to be two pieces, but uh, it's broken off here. This header pipe is going on this one because it doesn't have holes. And the one that came off of it is full of holes. And eventually when I build this thing for a mini bike, I'm just going to get a Trail 90 side pipe. So I don't really need to worry about any of any of this. Sorry for babbling. I'm going to put the shifter on and try to get the exhaust figured out. And then we'll be back. So update on this little girl. Uh, I had put on a couple parts. Um and like put on the spacer the o-ring the new knockoff carb this is not the knockoff carb and i pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled and i watched a couple videos on it i kind of thought the thing was tired so i ended up ordering a top end kit for one of these um i don't think i need it i actually got the thing to run but it's got these knockoff carbs and i actually have an original keen or however you pronounce that here off of that bike and i think they're just jetted wrong because it just revs way up and then it'll just kind of coast on down to like barely idling and then stall so i'm going to put a rebuild kit in this and put it on my girlfriend's bike so that i can get it running because this one leaked and hopefully that fixes this to where this thing's runnable I'm, i've still got to change the front tire but I was kind of thinking it was weak because it just pulled and pulled. I I swear I pulled on this thing for like an hour and it would sputter and then die and sputter and die and sputter and die. So I'm going to throw a rebuild kit in this. I ordered some of these just in case the Chinese carb didn't work. And actually uh, the place that I ordered my top end kit from has those Chinese carbs and then they uh, rejet them for the 110. So anyways... Like I was saying, um, I'm going to clean this thing up. I've got a rebuild kit somewhere in this mess. Uh, and I'm going to clean it up, take the bowl off, make sure everything's good in there. Uh, try to clean it up as best as possible, slam it on this bike, and hopefully this thing runs and rides. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and change the tire over from that one to this one. And then that one I'm going to put back together and probably just put it in the storage for right now. Um, I busted the coil trying to get the the plug in basically. Uh, trying to get the plug off because it was all bent. It looked like somebody hit it. It must have hit something in here and it bent the end of the plug over. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to clean this thing up off camera. Throw it on there and hopefully the thing starts. Well guys, just got a couple more things to do. Um, I got my plastics on the back of this thing. Uh, change the plug on it. It's got a champion plug in it. I like NGKs. Um, but I'm waiting for them at a local auto parts place. Fiddle with the carb. I think it's passable now. I still gotta fix the exhaust leak. I gotta fix the exhaust leak and I gotta fix the brakes. Um, got a new handle, but obviously my brakes aren't working on there and I wanna get that done before the girlfriend rides it too much. I gotta change the front wheel. I don't wanna get the seat recovered um, for it. So I think that's the biggest thing is just the brakes, seat, and then the front wheel. So. Call that a video. This thing runs, rips pretty good. Uh, seems like she has fun with it. So, just change the pace from the old car. I did get word that my heads and stuff are getting done at the machine shop. So, hopefully, soon I'll have a an engine to put back in and start building a turbo kit for. Um, Sorry to change it up on you guys. I just kind of had some filler content I figured and uh, show you what I'm working on. This thing I'm just going to kind of throw back together and wait until I got more time. I don't, uh, don't want to stall out uh, progress on the car to work on a, a mini bike project I could work on in the winter. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.